So I'm turning 27 um, in a couple months. My goal is to hit 27 in the best shape of my life. For me, 27 is kind of that age where I'm like actually an adult. I'm like a man, I'm a real adult. So it would be pretty damn gratifying to be able to undisputably say, I'm in the best shape of my life and I am bigger than I've ever been. I'm stronger than I've ever been. I hit 325 for five flat bench not too long ago. Um, now I wanna get just as lean as I've ever been. That means shredding off, you know, four pounds of fat and getting completely shredded. So that's the plan. So in this series, I'm gonna show you my full workout sets and reps and everything. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating to get into my best shape ever. We're gonna be doing some really cool body fat tests and most importantly, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes into my business as I grow Keno Body to one of the biggest health companies. The clothing line, the supplements, the programs. This is gonna be epic. All right, so I'm turning 27 soon. I wanna get in my best shape physically and mentally. Uh, so this will be a really cool new series. Um, but first, I gotta get on a call with my clothing line manufacturer pretty soon. Um, but I wanna show you where my physique is at, um, and then we can start to do some work and get crazy shredded. So let's go. All right, so it's day one of the program. I'm gonna see how much I weigh. Um, and my goal is try to get a little bit leaner, a little bit leaner while maintaining all my strength and muscle mass. So, I, had, I drank a tiny bit of water today, but I shouldn't change anything too, too much. 180.8, I'm already pretty lean. I, when I was bulking, I was up to like 187 at my biggest. So I have leaned down, I'm um, gonna get even leaner. So the first measurement I like to do is the, is the waist, 31 and three quarters. And then I'll do the chest, but I have to get the, the, the chest higher. That way you get the upper chest instead of just the bottom. Cause I really focus on building the upper chest. And holy shit. God damn, 45 inches. I've been making some gains. God damn, 40, 45 inches. All right, I'm, the, 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 the series is over. I already hit my physique goals. Um, and then the arms, let's see. 16 and almost a quarter, almost 16 and a quarter. Left could be a little bit smaller. Eh, just a hair over 16. And then I've been building the old wheels, so see what the legs are at, flexed. Get the widest part of your legs. 23 and three quarters. So that's where I'm at, 180.8 pounds, 45 chest, 31 three quarter waist, 16.25 arm, 23.25 legs. Now, if I'm cutting, which I am, these measurements, chest, arms, legs, they might come down a little bit, not because I'm losing muscle, just because you will store a little fat in those areas. Um, but that's fine. The point is to maintain your strength and uh, bring the waist down and then you're going to improve your physique. So we got my measurements. All right, so the clothing line is coming to fruition. I'm excited because I'm basically making the clothing line that I want to wear. Um, and we're using bamboo. It's going to be super high quality, amazing fit. It's going to be taking street wear and morphing it into gym wear um, just because I don't really identify with wearing all this gym tech fabric stuff. Um, I like something a little more versatile, um, but we've been working on it for several months and we're just putting the order through um, tomorrow. And uh, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be pretty exciting. And you know what, it's, it's, not, it's not cheap to start a clothing line. Like, you know, it's been, it's been a lot of, you know, cost working with, with a designer, getting it going, formulating the package. Um, Cause I'm not make, I'm not like a lot of fitness brands. I just wanna make a t-shirt, a tank top. No, I wanna make some, I wanna do a whole collection. These, uh, these uh, shorts, Sweat shorts just look unbelievable. These are so nice. 
crop bamboo tee where it's all bamboo rayon more eco-friendly super comfortable i basically like did tons of research and just you know went to stores and just kind of found different pieces that i thought were like beautiful stunning what girls liked and then just kind of made a few little tweaks um i've been really into fashion style uh since i was 16 i might and i had no sense of style i just wore like adidas pants and t-shirts and if i had to dress up nice i didn't know what to wear i'd wear my Cool uniform is so embarrassing. Yeah, I got went to a party wearing like my khaki pants and like basically my <laughs> so embarrassing. And then that moment after that, I felt so much uh, rejection and crush about like not fitting in why no one went to wear that. I actually like started to put in put in effort um, with that. So and then I then I really started to put things together. So um, this is the line I'm doing. Uh, this is my line. This is my life. Uh, and I'm really pumped about it, but, um, let's make a coffee. <sighs> pretty, pretty good. No, okay, I this. <laughs> Are you excited for my clothing line? I'm super excited. She's very excited. My sister loves it. And, um... God damn, this is good. So what time? We have 20 minutes to get on this call. So I think I'm gonna do a little meditation, uh, just because I've been pretty busy. So only, I only had about five, 10 minutes to meditate today. <coughs> so let's fucking go. Cairo, he's a good little boy. Yes, yes, you going you like to meditate too? All right, let's go inside. I'm meditating. When I'm awesome, I'm meditating. You <laughs> should feel presence outside. So I like to get on my Instagram every day and just uh, engage my followers, check out my DMs, message them back, and this motherfucker. It's Monday. Just got done with the gym, crushed the workout, and I'm blue light blocking these haters. <laughs> Shout out Grego Gallagher, no pish posh, baby. No pish posh, that's my saying. He's wearing my blue light blocking glasses, the Kino Hughes. So I'm gonna go ahead and repost that. And, uh, and uh, you know, like to, like to make the community seem more alive. It's not just about me anymore. I'm trying to make it about everyone else, about doing this together. So actually, I have a lot of cool plans for the coming months. Uh, doing a Kino Ambassador program, um, getting more Kino coaches as front-facing figures. Um, really cool stuff, but this guy, he needs to get the, the repost. He's funny. Because I'm so active on emails, on Instagram, on, on social media. I have, I have like 57,000 emails right now, 244 texts. Um, there's so much stuff going on that I have to put my phone on airplane mode and for like 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, just disconnect from it and get present. Otherwise, uh, it just kills your mood when you're always checking things. So phone is going on airplane and I need the socks. Oh. We're here with my man Scott Bellet. He's been running the Kino Body B Lot. Sorry, Scott B Lot. It's actually a uh, miscommunication, Scott. It's actually B. It's actually Belot. You know. I, 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 you know, your gram, be, 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 a little, be a lot, be a lot. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, we're going to be doing a call right now on, um, creating more value for our, for our members and, and having a, uh, like a, a coaching program. Um, and, uh, especially focus on the mind. So we're going to be getting details ironed out. Don't worry about it. Just do it. Um, <laughs> uh, no piss pause, Tom. Let's do it. Let's launch it. All right, so I just finished a call with Tom and Scott, one of the Kino Body coaches. We're going to be doing a really cool coaching program um, because, you know, the audience is way too big. I can't, like, individually help people. So we want to make a really cool Kino Legends community for people that want more support, help with the mindset. Um, that want to get the best possible results. So uh, now I'm gonna hit the gym, and my friend Bell is coming over. We're gonna, we're gonna hit the gym, train together. What's up? How are you? Good, Good to see you. Come on in. I'm gonna get an octane first, and then we will.
get going, get rolling to uh, Apex. Okay, do you want a single or a double? Double. Double, no pish posh. So everyone's been asking me, what the hell is this Octane thing? And why do we keep selling out? And uh, we sold out three times already um, since launching it. Um, in the beginning, it was a little bit slow because no one had tried it. But once people started trying it and seeing all the testimonials and results getting into it, it's just been this crazy, crazy demand. So we made um, Kino Octane to be an energy drink that was all natural, um, so no aspartame, uh, none of that stuff. And we didn't want to have too much stimulant, too much caffeine, um, like some of the other pre-workouts where you just get jittery and you can't sleep. Um, and we wanted to make a pre-workout where there wouldn't be like this crazy crash. You wouldn't take it and feel like all this energy and then crash. So we worked with a couple, couple researchers um, to get the right ingredients in there. They've been shown and proven to improve exercise performance, recovery, energy production, and keep it all natural, not use too much caffeine. We actually have L-theanine, which is a really cool um, ingredient that actually gives you nice smooth energy and focus, improves cognitive function, works synergistically with caffeine so you don't get this crazy spike and crash, just this smooth, clean energy. And everyone that takes it, they describe it as a clean, focused energy. So currently, if you want it, um, it's sold out. Um, although we'll have some balls coming in. We'll have 2,000 balls coming in in a few days. So um, it could pop. When, and when you watch this, it could, we could have some. Um, but this stuff has been the game changer for me. My workouts are better. Um, my recovery is faster. And I've noticed that I actually make better consistent strength gains because instead of having like a good workout than a bad workout, Every workout's pretty consistent. So let's have this. Um, alrighty. And Bella, you've been taking it for a while, haven't you? Mm -hmm. And you're hooked. I love it. You love it. And it tastes good. Yeah. Everyone has tried it. It's like, fucking, it's good. Alrighty. The old Octane party. Are you going to mm -hmm. come to our Kino Octane party in a couple weeks? Bentley's meowing because he wants Octane. He's like, give me more of Octane. You want some Octane, Bentley? <laughs> All right, this is my workout, this is my life. Um, as you guys know, I'm gonna try and get to my best shape in the next couple months. So here is my workout. I'm starting it off with some flat bench. 330 pounds for three, so not quite as many reps as I wanted, but I wanted to kind of go for a the heaviest weight I've really ever lifted. Um, my second set, I'm going a little bit lighter. Um, I think we have 285 on here. I'm getting some more reps in and uh, banging, banging it out. And then my third set of RPT, reverse pyramid training, I'm doing about 265. Um, so there you have it. Uh, getting some more reps in, some more volume. I've been doing a little bit more flat bench because um, I tweaked my shoulder a little bit doing some stupid stretch hold. So incline, I need to take a little bit of a break from it. Now I'm doing some reverse bench, which actually hits the upper chest very nicely. I got 245 for eight. Be very careful careful doing this. You don't want the grip to slip. Um, so I recommend um, you know using a spotter, starting really light. Um, but this one is amazing for the triceps and the upper chest. I've done some studies on it. It really activates the upper chest nicely, um, which you know is pretty cool. And going a little bit lighter, hitting two plates for again, about eight to 10 reps. So after this, my chest is pretty much fried. That's, you know, a solid five sets on chest. When I lift heavy, five sets um, produces some, uh, some pretty solid uh, gains. You don't need to be doing five different chest exercises. Just lift hard, heavy, hard, and hit that PR, and your chest will grow pretty, pretty nice. Bam, and I'm resting about three minutes between sets. So. Um, here's a little update on my physique. Pretty lean, uh, got some good size, and the goal, of course, is to cut the last, you know, three, four pounds of fat, so I am sharp as ever. Now we're getting into some, uh, some pull-ups. Uh, I'm doing a little bit more of a narrow grip here, uh, I believe, just because I don't really want to keep gaining my back width. My back width is already pretty, pretty solid for my liking, so I'm doing more of like a neutral grip which is gonna still hit the back really nice, but it's gonna work a bit more of the arms than going wider. So here I'm going for about eight reps, which is uh, a PR as far as I'm concerned. Um, so we're going for it. And 
there we go. Last rep wasn't quite all the way up, but it's, I like to kind of fight and push for it, you know. Um, and then here we go, we're down to about uh, 70 pounds, and I'll be doing usually around the same the same repetition. Sometimes for reverse pyramid training, I'll drop the weight, rest, but then keep the reps the same, just so I, uh, just to kind of keep my body a little more fresh, especially when cutting. The back is looking pretty defined. I actually store very little fat in my back um, based on my fat distribution pattern. So I tend to have the leanest look um, on my back, which is sweet. And then uh, I'm doing some incline dumbbell curls. The weight's a little heavy. These are 55 pounds, but it's really about like 60, 65 because the handle's not included um, in these type of weights. Most weights at the gym that are fixed at your gym, not bolted on, if it's 55 pounds, it's 55 pounds included in the whole weight. So this is about 62, I'd say. Um, and goddamn, hit me hard. Oh, this set is, I like this set because I'm pretty sure I fail. <laughs> which um, I try to avoid, but sometimes it's fun to just push it. And if you get it, you get it. If you don't get it, you don't get it. Um, but just for a little bit of context here, I've been doing two workouts a week, one like pretty intense upper body workout, one a pretty intense lower body workout. I just want to take a break from three workouts. I might go back to three soon, but that's why I've been, I've been doing two pushes, some chins, some curls, you know, um, doing pretty much every, every, every muscle group in the upper body. Um, there we go. See, I failed on that. Just, I think I'm going to do about three or four sets here. My biceps were sore the next day because previously I've been doing a lot more machine curls, but this gym I'm filming at today uh, doesn't have any machine stuff. I like machines as a supplement, not like the primary movement, um, but, uh, but this is a great exercise you guys can implement into your routine. Um, and there we go. Bam. Now I'm finishing off some triceps. I'm standing a little bit further back and then focusing on doing a back motion, which hits the triceps nicely. And uh, I probably should be going a bit more full extension, but this is a bit of a heavy weight. I just want to play with heavy weight for a bit. So I'm not going all the way down, um, which technically is wrong, but uh, sometimes I make a mistake when I can't see my form when I'm training. Um, but, but still nonetheless, really hit my triceps. I kind of, I kind the, the thing, the reason I'm not going all the way down is just because I find the strength curve works better if you don't do that last couple inches. Um, if, if I can finish the end, then the first half's too easy. But nonetheless, here is a new bicep exercise I want to throw in there just to really take my biceps over the top. Um, it's a kind of kneeling cable hammer curl, something you can kind of implement in your routine. More if you want to go light and finish off your workout and your biceps with, with some high reps. Good stuff. This is the workout to build the upper body of a Greek god, which is what you're looking at right now. I'm <laughs> just kidding, um, but, but that's the point. Uh, now we're doing some lateral raises. I'm doing rest pause. So I think I'm lifting about 35 pounds, which this 35 pounds really like 42 pounds, um, which you know just gonna give you the real weight. And I'm doing about 15 to 20 reps. And then I'm gonna rest 10, 15 seconds and then bang out five or six. This is what I call rest pause training, which is the most effective way to train your lateral raises, your rear delt raises, any sort of shoulder isolation movement it is the most effective because it allows you to use the pro pro the appropriate weight um, because you wanna go light on these types of movements but also get the maximum muscle fiber recruitment because by resting 10 seconds, your muscles don't recover and so they, they're, you're still using maximum muscle fiber recruitment. And uh, just pretend I've rested 10, 15 seconds there. We just wanna cut that out so the video flows faster for you. And bam, oh, we did one more just because I wanted those shoulders to really pop. I did two scoops of Octane before this workout, so I am getting fucking, I am feeling it. Fully fasted, just two scoops of Octane, which essentially is zero calorie, um, in case you were wondering. And how many damn sets of this did I do? Holy cow, I lost count, but we did a lot. I pushed it, and now I'm done. Dead. Workout done. It's awesome. All right, I hope you enjoyed episode one of the new series. If you did, of course, hit the like button. Make sure you are subscribed. And finally, if you want to see my updates every single day, then you're going to want to follow me on Instagram. I'll put that link here or in the description. And lots more epic stuff coming. I can't wait to share um, this cut with you as I get to 27 years old. I can't wait to share some of my business stuff with you and take you along for this ride. So. Talk to you guys soon.